we have a familiar face in the building. This man went to the north and single-handedly broke the Aubrey <laughs> Graham curse. I'm talking about the Drake curse. He is the conductor of the Blessed <laughs> Express. I'm talking about the featherweight champion, Max Holloway. He's in the building. My oh, man. Yo, welcome. Tony, I'm here. Ah, bro, this is what happened. This, I'll, I'll tell you what happened, how this, how this tour went down. So we went to oh, was Las Vegas, right? We did the press conference. And then they tell me, you're going to do an L.A. tour. I was like, are we going to do a complex out there? Is, is Tony going to be there? And then they was like, oh, probably not. And then, then we're not doing an L.A. tour. Hey. I was like, you sending me, you sending me to New York. This is how it goes, you know. And uh, this, we, we're here now, you know. They, they was trying to give me a hard time. Like, no, you're going to do an L.A. tour. I was like, if Tony from Complex does not come down to L.A., it's not happening. We're going to New York. So we're here now. I had to see my friend. I appreciate it. The brand is strong out here. <laughs> you just got off the plane. What does the blessed MMA do on a long flight? It was actually an, a red-eye flight. So uh, the blessed MMA sleeps. I got a good like four, four or so hours sleep on the first plane. We, we got to lay over in uh, San Fran and then I got another good four hours. So I got my eight hours sleep. So it was pretty crazy. But last night I went to sleep at like one. I don't know why. And then I woke up at like three, and then I kept waking up every half an hour. It's pretty ridiculous. That's that jet lag, man. That's that jet lag life. When you're on this plane, do you have Wi-Fi? I did not buy it. I'll tell you that much because, Respect. because Respect. I was trying to sleep. If, if when I'm up and I'm about, you know I'm gonna be on that. But uh, you know, I like reading tweets, like you know, like people running in the subways, you know, on the tracks and tweeting about it and being like, <laughs> someone on the tracks. I was like, we all know it's you, Tony. Stop, stop, stop trying to act like something's up. Somebody okay. else crazy. A little more context. I tweeted earlier this morning <laughs> that there was a man or a person that jumped on the tracks that delayed all the trains. I was super pissed. I got to work late. But all right, disregard that. I'm glad you mentioned Twitter, cause. I guess we have to talk about it. I don't know what, what other media you did before you got here, yeah. but uh, we got to talk about this Conor Khabib thing. Oh, yeah. You know, at the end of the day, you know, it's, it's not even about the sport anymore, what they're doing, what they're talking. And, um, you know, I'm glad I saw Dana talked about it. He tweeted, said that he's going to intervene. But, you know, those guys got such a platform. You know, let's, let's talk about climate change. Let's talk about that, you know, because I heard that. What'd you hear? It is not this cold this time of year here. I'm kind of mad. It's, it's you're supposed to be warmer. Climate change is real, guys, you know, and the earth is not flat, so stop it. Let's rewind back. The last time you were here, it was in preparation for the Brian Ortega fight. Uh -huh. You went to Toronto. You went to the Toronto Raptors game. Oh, yeah. That's when you, you broke the curse. <laughs> We broke the curse. My dude. Do you have a story about this? Oh, we just was, at, you know, we just had the game. We were just watching the game. He was there. We took a pick, you know. It is what it is. Okay, just a casual high buy. Yeah, situation. what's up, my friend? How you doing? I got to talk to him. We met Oliver. We got to talk to Oliver. Oliver is pretty dope. You know, he trains and stuff, so it's cool. I think the following day you met up with this man, Kyle Lowry. Oh, yeah, Lowry, my man. He's super dope. He's super nice. He was shooting around with uh with one of the coaches, one of the shooting coaches, and that. Just nice people, super cool guys. We got to, they was showing us the f facility. This, uh, the GM of the Raptors is a Hawaii boy. It's Bobby Webster. After the fight, after you dominated Brian Ortega, yeah. which was like incredible fight. <laughs> Thank you. Salute to you. Thank you. Bob. The following night, I believe you went to another Raptors game. Yeah, yes we did. I think they put you on the Jumbotron. Yeah. Why did my man not get courtside seat tickets? Oh, it's all right. Hey, I'm happy with everything. Disrespect, what's going no, on? No disrespect, just put me in there. I don't care. My man Bobby, they said uh, they got to get me out to a playoff game, so I don't care where I at. Put me on the top. I want to be at a playoff game. So is it safe to say that you are off the Lakers bandwagon? I'm a Toronto Raptors fan, but I'm sorry. If he goes to L.A., I am jumping ship. Man, yep. I, you know, that last time we had a talk, I don't know what was going on. I told you, remember? that I didn't fight. I was somewhat concussed, supposedly, so let's just blame it on a sickness. You know, it's, uh, I'm a wow. Raptor. <laughs> don't worry, guys. Max got a pair of flip-flops <laughs> in the green room. He just <laughs> flip-flopping back and forth. When you came to the office, that was not the last time I saw yeah. you. The last time I saw you was at Barclay Center for the yeah, Segudo yeah, Dillashaw yeah, fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we talk about this photo? PG, baby. I was just sitting down, and then they just, you know, PG over there with ice in his veins, go win, go shoot the, the winning three, and he, they come fly over to, to uh, Brooklyn to watch the fight. So he initiated. He came over to you. Yeah, he walked over. You know, <sighs> there was in Dana's section, and he came over. We was in the fighter section. He came over, said, what's up? And uh, 
not to be nice guys. So hopefully I can get a couple, uh, uh, couple of PlayStation, uh, PlayStation bags and you come out with more PlayStation shoes, my bro. And then after that fight, I believe you, went, you took a trip to Ireland. What happened here, man? You know, that's what kings do. They go to other people's places and they scout the area and then uh, we're ready to take over. Whenever it's, that, whenever it's time, we're ready. I know, I know the ins and outs of every single thing there. People kind of love me there already, so it's, that's what it was. So you didn't get any hecklers? No, we're not, we're not there to take part. We're there to take over. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, why does that quote sound familiar? So this belt right here is the featherweight title. Yeah. You're going for the lightweight. Yes. Interim title. Yeah. So the last time you fought Dustin was in 2012. That's the first year that LeBron won the championship yeah. for the Miami Heat. Yeah, there's a lot of things. I think so. Uh, they put it out the picture of that's when Eli won a Super Bowl. Yeah, for New yeah. York, yeah. Uh, yeah. Respect, respect to Eli. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What do you think was the biggest significant change in your game since then? I'll tell you right now, you know, if the Max today fought 20-year-old Max, I'd body the kid. Oh, that guy would yeah. be in a cemetery in Waianae saying, here, rest, bless the MMA, you know. But uh, that's just me. That's what I think, you know. But it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. Me and him was, uh, me and him changed. You know, a lot of things happened <laughs> since then, and I, I can't wait. I can't wait to fight him. I have a couple pictures here that I, I want some backstory of. Yeah. Let's yeah. talk about the King's meeting. Oh, yeah. Here. All the time. That's Kamehameha three. This is Kamehameha one. That's one of his sons. And he's the guy that united all the islands. He's the man, and then that was one of his sons, Kamehameha Three, and I, I like Three. Three was the longest reigning king. It's spiritual, you know. There's this thing called mana. And mana is uh, mana means in Hawaii spiritual power, and it's like we're very spiritual people there, you know, and warriors. And these guys are warriors, you know. Like uh, King King Cam would fight. He'd fight in the battles, front line. Mm. Not a guy would be like, hey, go fight for me. No, this guy is in there like with his Braveheart. warriors. And, like we're 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 fighting. Okay. We're really doing this, so that's why he's the man. So this is a tradition for you before all the every time. fight? All the time. I go see them, you know, and do a little prayer, you know, and uh, get ready for war. Can we talk about this photo right here? Oh, my man Shane, Mariota, my man Kamu and Yance. Shane actually put it together. Victorino. Mm, okay. he, he, lo he, he loves bringing all the, all the guys that's doing stuff for Hawaii, try to get them together and try to get us together. And he's talking about uh, maybe doing a foundation and doing something back for the kids. And it was cool to be hanging out with all of them, you know, it's freaking... It's Marcus Mariota, he's, he's the man, you know, and then Kamu just won Super Bowl. Kamu, I trained with him. We trained at the straight, uh, at the same strength and conditioning, tactical strength and conditioning. And then uh, Marcus, uh, Marcus Mariota, is, he's a legend in Hawaii. Was that the first time you met him? That was the first time I met him. So we have here the, the old belt. Have you had a chance to check out the new belt? Yeah, when we did the press conference, it was in front of Dana. Is in front of Dana. I got to see it, and uh, I told everybody when I saw the picture, I was like, I'm not going to judge it until I see it in person. I, and I like it. It's pretty cool, you know? It looks like a Power Ranger. You see everybody like with Dana White as the white Power Ranger? That was my favorite Power Ranger, so that was cool when he has it on. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then it's like also like the gauntlet, you know? You win, you win the rubies, you know, the life stones, I guess, when you take someone's soul. How many slots are there? There's eight. There's eight stuff. There's eight. So uh, I, UFC is going to have to do something about that. Maybe get a new belt. I don't know, because I'm, I'm coming for a lot of them. Okay, so your son, Rush, he has an Instagram. Yeah. He has controlled an... by you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you scared that he might get more clout than you? I am not. If there's one guy who ha can get more clout than by me. By the way, then... I need to get my clout up. I need to. <laughs> oh, my dude. You know about this, right? I, I don't got... even have any. He got you it. got this. You got that one. Hold on, hold on. Let me look presentable. You're not afraid that he's going to get more clout than you? No, not at all. If, it, if it's anybody that can steal my clout, it's him. So if you try and steal my clout, we're going to fight for it. Oh, damn. But, uh, okay. it, but him, like, no, I'm not, I can beat him. Every time you stop by here, you know I got to bless you with something, right? Last time I gave you the PlayStation book bag. Yeah. You still have that? Of course I still have that bag. I'll make people, sure nobody sent you a get, DM start trying get, to buy no, the bag. No, I ain't never selling that bag. You are ridiculous. Okay, I got another gift for you. They're the custom... Paul George PlayStation controllers. You gotta stop giving me gifts. What? Well, is going the thing on? is, is so dope. I don't have the book bag anymore, so yeah. it's it kind of pointless. And hopefully, you can maybe give oh, it to me. Oh, Rush is gonna love you for him. Ah, thank you, man. And this is what's up, Tony. You the man, man. I came up with this new segment. It's called overrated or underrated. Okay, I'm gonna okay. list off some items, and you tell me if they're overrated or underrated. Okay. Can we start with AirPods? Overrated or underrated? Overrated. Okay, AirPods are overrated. Imagine you get uh, one of my friends got it. You know, Birdie Bird. 
Pretty Bird, my photographer that takes pictures of me, he has it. Dude was using it, think, trying to be all boozy and stuff on the plane. Woke up, almost had a heart attack because one was missing, and he was on this on the plane. Like, why is my airbag? There's a there's a overrated. Like, just get regular headphones, you know. Even if it's wireless, or whatever, just put it on. Like, why are you trying to be bougie, man? And he's like, look, you can do all this kind of stuff, and like moving his head. I'm like, I don't you care. Double tap that thing. I don't have okay. to double tap nothing. You know? Okay. Off white. Off white. Overrated or underrated? Underrated. I like off white. Side question, what's your relationship with Arrowson Q? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mr. Ooh. Acronym himself. Ooh, ooh. Stay tuned. Can to we the, get an exclusive? Stay stay tuned to the uh, to the look. I'll tell you this much. I'll tell you this much. We me and Arrowson, Arrowson's the man. He's the look at his ninja clothes. I love him for that. I I give you an exclusive because since you always give me gifts. Hold up, first off, how did you meet him? We we just found out he was a fan, right? We just found, like, he, he followed us on Twitter and Instagram and stuff. I was like, what? This guy is a fashion guru, you know what I mean? And um, I guess what the exclusive is. Back to overrated or underrated. Supreme. Overrated or underrated? Well deserved. Well deserved. Baked by Melissa Cupcakes. Oh my gosh. Overrated or underrated? Bring it. We got gifts too. We got gifts for the squad. They are definitely well deserved. Well deserved. <laughs> they are well deserved. That's right there. That's for you guys. Salute. This is for the this is for the team here. For we'll the leave team. this right here. This next one. Conor McGregor, overrated or underrated? Man. Hey, he did a lot for our sport and whatever he did. Currently, but... right now. Right now. Ah oh, man. It's gonna like I'm gonna I'm gonna hear it. But he's like, it's kinda over overrated, man. Overrated. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Connor, I would love to interview you. Don't don't let that clap discourage you from stopping by. <laughs> Moving along, Hawaiian pizza, overrated, underrated. Man, I know a lot of people is gonna kill me for this. All my Hawaiian friends, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love you guys. I know this ain't Hawaiian pizza, but for real, is, this is not Hawaiian it, pizza. This is it, from it, Canada. It is underrated. That's the Ten Island, so. Actually, it is Hawaiian pizza. Boom. Boom. Ten roasted. Island. Fuck. <laughs> but uh, I tell you where you need to get this pizza from, though. Where? Chuck E. Cheese. The best pizza ever. And then when you put the when you put the pineapples and stuff, put real pepperoni, though. Come on. Not, not this ham stuff, but real pepperoni and, and pineapple. Chuck E. Cheese is not going to let you down, guys. The pizza is for real. Oh, my gosh. Hawaiian sweet rolls. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Is it overrated or underrated? No way. That is well deserved rated. Did you ever have it? I've never had it. Oh, my God. We need I've to. I've been deprived. The next one, we're coming. I'm, I'm bringing you a bunch. Describe to me the perfect Hawaiian sweet roll treat. I would put guava, guava butter or guava jelly in it. Oh, my gosh. So good. I'll bring it for you. Man, I'll you bring it for like you. sound like you straight from Williamsburg. <laughs> what is going on? All right, Max. <laughs> Last one, Max Holloway's acting skills, overrated or underrated? Oh, Talk man, to me. Man, man, well deserved. Den of Thieves, baby. Well deserved. Did you see me crack that guy? I actually never got a chance to watch I'm this not, scene. We're not friends then. I don't know. I'm going to LA, Tony. I'm sick of you already. <laughs> All right. Just to recap, UFC 236, you're fighting Dustin Poirier yes, in sir. the main event, Atlanta. The only time I went to Atlanta was for this right here. This thing, this is where we shot it. That was this shot in Atlanta? Then, all Atlanta. They treat you really good in the movies. They put me in the Ritz-Carlton. I was like, what? They done, they done clean your room three or four times a day. I'm like, stop. <laughs> I need to put my stuff. I'm coming to my room. All right, well, Max, do you have any final words before we let you go? Thank you, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. I always love coming here. Tony, you're the man. You're always giving me gifts. Make sure you guys <laughs> tune in to UFC 236. Buy the pay-per-view. Go to Atlanta. Buy tickets. I'm be rooting for this guy. Thank you, brother. Yeah. Peace.